Hello! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michael. I'm the Brooks brother and I do makeup. So, something a little bit different on my face. I bet you can't figure it out. I've been at home, as I'm sure a lot of people watching have been. I decided it was the day to bleach my brows. I wanted to do it for a really long time and I did it. And this was my first makeup video, first makeup look with bleached brows. I'm actually like really, really into this. Hopefully it communicates well and you guys like it too. If not, that's cool. I know I look a bit odd, but I'm very into it. I wanted to make some content. So if you wanna see how I achieved this look and some new makeup that I've got recently, hint, hint, there's a lot. Miss Fancy Beauty. But I don't want to talk too much because I do love to talk. But if you want to see, just keep on watching and I'll see you at the end. Hello, hi. Okay, I'm just gonna get started. I got told in my last video that I think I talked a bit too much in the beginning, so I'm just gonna jump in. I'm doing a video with some new stuff once again. But I want to do something a little bit more wearable because the last video that I did I think was a bit out there for some people that watched it. It was cool and I really liked it, but I think, yeah. I prepped my skin already. I'm gonna do like neutral sort of smoky eyes. I got these. These are the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows. So I got one which is true neutrals and two which is the cool neutrals. You can see the colors on the back there. And of course, true to the name, they snap together. I'll show you number one, the true neutrals. This brown and this brown are really nice. And then number two, which is cool neutrals and this purple. Purple is one of my favorite eye makeup colors, so that's really promising. However, that's not what we're doing today. Today we are gonna do a neutral smoky eye. I probably look a bit crazy at the moment. Uh, I bleached my brows yesterday. Um, yeah. You know what, with just everything that's going on, I am staying home. So I thought it's a good time for me to get some content. Anyway, the bleached brows, I really like them. With my hair being pink, this one, two, three thing, I don't know about it yet, but this is my first time doing like beauty makeup. Um, with them, so I think that my vision's gonna come together. The first thing I wanna do is just prep my lids. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on. This is the Fenty concealer. The color is 330. I recently got put on a PR list. Well, not PR list. Onto a list with a PR firm that does Fenty. So I got my hands on some Fenty stuff and some other brands, so. It's like the perfect time for me to do some new content. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this concealer on my lids. I'm gonna give it a blend as well with this. Um, this is actually also a Fenty brush. Uh, this is not new, I've had this for a long time. It's the 180 Concealer Brush. It's really weird starting my eyes straight away without having put any gel in my brows. I'm so used to like doing all my brow gel madness first, but I have a plan in my head. I'm gonna go to the one palette, this one. I'm gonna start with this color in the middle, it's called Come and Get It, just on a fluffy brush. And I'm pressing that right onto the wet concealer. And I'm just gonna buff it in. I want this to just be like a nice soft brownish smoke into the bridge of my nose as well. The front of my brow. I have so much room to play with, this is really weird. I'm gonna have some tea as well. I'm gonna use the darker brown right beside it. Affogato, this one. Pop that into the outer corner, the whole I like outer third of the eye, then go back over with Come and get it. The warmer, spicier brown. This eye is gonna be really simple. I don't want anything like too over the top today. Just like really nice blended brown smoky eye and a nice liner and some nice skin. Then I'm gonna switch to number two. 
And I'm gonna go to the center color on the top called Wife It Up. It's like a taupey gray color. That right on the part of my lid that's still open. I usually don't really love like cool toned matte colors. I find them like hard to blend. But when you're doing something like this, I feel like they're actually very effective. It's a very subtle color, but it does really give the effect of like smokiness. So now that I've laid that down, we lost a little bit of the difference between like this mid-tone matte smoky color and the outer corner color. I'm gonna move to this one. It's getting toasty. The difference between the two because it may look the same. This side is a little bit more warm and then this side's a little bit more cool. But you will notice the difference when it goes on. I've used this before and I was like, oh, that's almost black. Again with that same fluffy brush, just sort of wiggle it into the lashes on the outer corner. It's relatively simple, but impactful still. This much makeup, or this little of makeup, with my eyebrows black, would really look like I don't have much on. Who knows? Moving right along, I am pretty much done with shadow at this point. I told you guys, it's quite simple. I know I said I was gonna keep it matte, but I think I've changed my mind. I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer. I'm obsessed with this. It's the Diamond Balm from Fenty Beauty called How Many Carrots? Firstly, the packaging is so beautiful. And secondly, so is the product. I'm just gonna take some of my finger, like that, put it right onto my eye, in the center of my lid. My favorite thing about this is that it is shimmer, but there's like no base color to it. So it doesn't look like, oh, it's just so beautiful. It doesn't look like how it would if you put like a gold highlighter over top and you see like a gold base color to it. You can still see the shadow color underneath and it's just like a silver sparkle on top. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. All right, that's it for eyes for now. That's a lie. I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I'm gonna use my old favorite eyeliner. Brush Black Liquid Liner from MAC. I'm just gonna try and do a really skinny wing. We'll see. It's a good starting point. It's even enough. Let's connect it up then. This liner is brilliant because it's like a little tiny brush. So it's not felt, it's actually a tiny little brush tip. And the very edge of it is actually like microscopic, like so tiny. Sorry, I'm so awkward as I do this. And also look how I hold it. <laughs> when I'm doing this, I always stabilize my other arm on this arm, so I sit like this. If your arms aren't as long as mine, then it might not work for you. This part, right on the inner corner here, where it's like super thin right into my lash line, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna stick lashes on it, we'll cover that, but it's mostly so that I can just make sure I really get the shape how I like it. Also, while you were watching, you may have noticed that I put a little bit and then I smudge it with my finger, but that's because when it's long, I like when it fades off into like almost nothing. If it's smudged out, like, it's more the illusion that it continues really far out rather than being actually dark like all the way to my hairline. Wispy liner. So this one's a little bit more smudged than this one. What I'm gonna do is just clean up that edge with a little bit of concealer. Look at where I've traced along the part that's been smudged. Out here is the smudge of liner. Like there isn't actually anything that I put there. The opaqueness stops about here. Where I've cleaned it up, it's like the illusion that the liner actually continues. I like to get eyeliner to look like it just fades off into nothing. Especially when it's something so skinny. Yeah. I don't know why I don't zoom in for my whole eye makeup. I'll probably do that in my next video. You can really see on this one where it's smudged out. And you could leave it. I want it to be quite sharp. Also using a square tip brush like this, it does the job for you because it's straight along the top. You're just kind of like stamping it into place. I wanna get some lashes on. I'm gonna do that. I think I've worn these before on here, but this is Khadijah's Beauty. Um, I'll link the store down below, but Khadijah's Beauty um, is the name. 
And the lash style is called the star. You know what? Maybe I should actually record myself putting lashes on. I'm putting some glue on. I just use the regular duo glue. I don't think anything's changed since the last time I put lashes on on camera. I put it like on the back closer to the bottom side of the lash. So that's it from the back there. You can see it's kind of on the bottom. But from the front, there's not that much glue that shows from the front because I kind of glue it like downward so it sits upright. Now I'm gonna put mascara on. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Caution Ultra Black. Um, I quite like this mascara. This was sent to me. I find it transfers. If I put it on my lower lashes, it transfers, and I hate that. But the formula is really nice. Like it's like a lengthening and lifting and defining kind of vibe. And I have shit lashes. They're long, but they're really thin. I grab it from the center of the lash with tweezers. I use flat ones so that if I slip, I won't stab my eye. I flip my hand so that the lashes are upright and I can get right behind my eyelashes. I just place it in the center, I let it go. And then I place the outer corner, I let it go to see if it's stuck in the inner corner. And just like that. Ah. I think I can zoom me back out now because I'm gonna do my skin. Now I can <laughs> be chatty. I'm not gonna do my brows yet because I think I'm gonna do them after my skin's done so that I can whiten them. Cause right now they're like such a yellowy color. I think they need to be like whiter or like a really light beige. Um, but I'm gonna do that after in case I get foundation in them. On to skin then. Like I said, I've already done my skincare. And so it's moisturized. You can see it's quite shiny. I'm gonna use some primer though. So this is Laura Mercier primer, pure canvas primer. This is the perfecting one. It comes in like six different formulas, I think. I shaved my face with a razor for the first time in a few years yesterday uh, because my electric razor decided to uh, not work. Yesterday I was like, oh my god, my skin looks so good. Like, it's so smooth. It feels amazing. And today, it's just bumps. Like, it's so irritated. And I've done all my skincare as normal. But, like, I have so many marks now. This is why I only ever trim it. I don't use a razor and go right down. Anyway, now the primer's on, gonna go some foundation. I'm gonna use the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear, color's 320. I like this foundation. It's a little bit dark, but I'm gonna balance it out with concealer anyway. I still have never found my perfect, perfect color in Fenty. That's okay. I'm gonna go over that with the Morphe sponge. I lied. I'm not going to blend it in with a, <laughs> a sponge. It was eating up too much product and it wasn't like moving around enough. So I'm just buffing that in. This is a Lush brush. I think it's called a BFF brush. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. But this is a really, really nice concealer. The color is tan sand. So I've just popped it under my eyes, bridge of my nose, sides of my, like, side, my chin and a little bit on my jawline and that's just, the jawline is just to balance everything out. I'm gonna go over it with my sponge and also be sure to get concealer on your earrings. And just with whatever's left, I just pat it across my forehead. I'm gonna do a little bit of cream bronzer. This is another new product. It's not Fenty though. This is from Milk. It's the matte bronzer. It's the stick. The color is Blaze. I've seen so many people use this and I've always wanted to try it. So we're gonna try it for the first time and I hope it doesn't look absolutely insane. Where'd it go? <laughs> I'm gonna do another quick little layer because I don't know where she went. I was being very light-handed because I was really scared it was gonna be super opaque. Oh geez, my back hurts. If I'm gonna be doing this influencer thing, I need to get a better chair. Ooh. Ugh. 
This is really nice. I really like this. It's a really nice color. It blends out super sheer, which is good. And I don't have anything like this. This I feel like I could actually wear with no foundation as well. Hmm. Hmm. I like. I'm gonna go back to my concealer brush and just buff out anything that creased in the meantime. Now I need to set my under eyes. I'm gonna use the Fenty Loose Powder because we're having a Fenty day, clearly. Banana. Banana. Oh, banana. Uh. I'm gonna try setting with a brush. Maybe I don't need to bake if I'm just staying home. This is a ColourPop F5 brush. Gonna leave that for a bit. To set the rest of my face, I'm just gonna use my Maybelline. I can't really show you because it's in the lid, but my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Now that that's set, I'm just going to go over my bronzer. I'm gonna use the same bronzer I used last time, this Fenty Beauty Beige and Gal. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I don't do those. I've never done one on YouTube. But I realize it is very Fenty heavy, but it's just kind of because I haven't had the opportunity to use quite a lot of Fenty on my channel, so I'm do I wanna do that now. Sorry it's a lot of Fenty, but also not sorry. I'm going to just take a little bit of powder on that Morphe sponge and just go right underneath my bronzer. Just to clean it up. This is that diet drag trick that I like to do. I don't always do it. When I feel like it's lacking a little bit of structure, this is how I sort of clean it up. I'm just gonna wipe away this bake under my eyes. I want to smoke out my lower lash line. This is what's missing. This is a pencil from MAC called Costa Riche. It's like a really warm hazelnut brown, I would say. I'm just gonna take that. Make it look like this. <laughs> take a little pencil brush, smudge it. I still want a little smidge darker though. I'm gonna take the cool brown. and I'm just smudging it. Look at how much bigger this eye looks than this eye. This eye looks asleep. I think earlier I said I don't use this on my lower lashes. And look what I'm about to do. I'm really feeling this. I'm gonna do some blush as well. This is a MAC blush called Like Me, Love Me. That's what it looks like. I'm trying to change up my blush a bit. There was a really long time where I didn't wear blush at all because I didn't really like it. I was just like a bronzer person. In the last like five, six months, I've been like really into it. Oh, that's quite strong. I'm gonna use that same Diamond Bomb as my highlighter. It ties in nicely with the eyes. And because the eyes are quite cool toned, why not do a cool toned highlighter as well? And this is a Morphe M501 brush. I love this. And I know a lot of people are over highlight right now, but like, I'm still really into it. I don't think I'll ever let highlight go. Since the day that it came into my life, I knew she was here to stay. I think I'm finally ready to address my brows as well. <laughs> I'm gonna comb a little bit of something through it. Not a white, but something that's just like a little bit lighter to just get rid of any foundation residue and make them a little bit more textured looking. This is the Pixum Color Emulsion. I've done loads of stuff with these on my Instagram before. Never on YouTube, I don't think. This color is O2. Two, I'm gonna take the tiniest bit because you really don't need a lot of it. It's just lighter than my skin tone. I'm gonna take that on a spoolie, brush it right through my brows. I just to give them a bit of texture so that it looks like hair again and not like there's just nothing there. I'm gonna do some freckles as well. I talked about this in the last one, I think, but I'm gonna use the Shape and Shade pen from MAC. I'm gonna put a whole video about faux freckles on my Instagram. Um, hopefully it will be up by the time that this goes up, but if not, just, it is coming. I'm gonna just do them and then I'll, I'll time lapse it. And then I'm just gonna go over with the sponge. 
just to blot anywhere that I don't want them as strong. I think I want my brows just a touch lighter. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of white. This is another Depixim Emulsion. If you haven't heard of this brand before, th these are really cool, guys. These are like cosmetic emulsions that you can use anywhere on your face. You can wear them as lipsticks, eyeshadows, uh, foundation, concealer, brow color, like literally anywhere. They're like super, super versatile and they're safe. It's not just like face paint, so that's what I wanted. I just need to do my lips. I'm gonna start by lining them. This is a Morphe lip liner. The color is Sweet Tea. I always use this. I'm gonna take a little liquid lip, Fenty, Stunna Lip Paint, the color is Unbutton. Also gonna put some gloss over it, this is a <laughs> gloss called Sweet Mouth. And that's all. That's where I'm gonna leave this. It's cute. I really like this. If anything, I just hope that this video could be a bit of a distraction. It's something to watch. Hopefully you picked up a couple tips. Hopefully you've seen some products that you were curious about in action. If not, and it's just something to pass the time, that's totally cool too. Um, I hope that everyone is safe and healthy and isn't losing their minds at home. And I hope that everybody that doesn't have the best home situation that has to stay there right now, is staying strong. I don't want to get into it too much. Thank you for watching. I'll leave everything that I used listed below. If you have any questions, just hit me up with a comment. I will just say, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.